Welcome to this practice session of the active and passive voice. That's an English grammar topic that most of the learners find quite complicated and a little bit boring. But believe me, this video will help you to practice it in an interesting way. Do you want to know about rules of the active and passive voice? You can click on this card shown above. That will take you to those videos in that we have already discussed the rules for this topic in detail. For practice part in this lesson, I'm going to show you a practice exercise. Just pause the video and try to change the voice of these sentences. now it's time to check your answers okay now I'm gonna explain how to apply these rules while changing the voice of these sentences so let's get started let's take up the first sentence Rohit has just cooked the food the first step is to identify subject verb object in the sentence because we need an object to change the voice of this sentence. And here in this sentence, the food is the object of the active voice that we will take up as the subject of the passive voice. So the passive voice begins like this, the food. Now the verb form will be changed. Which tense is in this sentence? The present perfect has just cooked. Remember the verb to be plus the past participle of the main verb. This is the verb form of the passive voice. So we will change it this way. And the food is here the subject and the verb should be in the accordance with the subject and tense. So it will be the food has just been cooked by Rohit. As we have taken up the subject of the active voice as the object of the passive voice and that will take the preposition by before it. The next sentence is the workmen were repairing the road. Now check your answers if you have written the correct one. The road was being repaired by the workmen. Or you can leave this the workman in case it's not important to tell about the doer or the performer. The next sentence is the plumber has repaired the pipes. Its passive form would be the pipes have been repaired by the plumber. Dear students, please mind the pronunciation of this word plumber. P-L-U-M-B-E-R. Its correct pronunciation is plumber. The letter B is silent here. The next sentence is the imperative one. Please shut the door. It will be changed in this way as it's a request. So it is requested to you to shut the door. Let the door be shut, please. The door should be shut, please. The next sentence is let's solve the problem. Its passive form would be the problem should be solved or let the problem be solved. Do you remember? In the previous lesson, we discussed the imperative sentences. How do we change them? From the active to the passive voice, we use the word let and then the verb form be plus the past participle of the main verb that is the third form of the verb. Why did you not inform me? This is the next sentence. It's a question. It's an interrogative sentence. So in these sentences, we keep the word, WH word, the question word at the same place. So the sentence would begin like this. Why? Now we will take up the object of the active voice and that's me in this sentence. So in the subjective form, it will become I. Now the verb form. For the past simple tense, we use was or were plus third form of the main verb please pay your attention it's a negative interrogative sentence so we'll place the word not at the same place as it is in the active voice and thus between the subject and the main verb so the passive form of this negative interrogative sentence is why was i not informed by you please always remember to put a question mark at the end of the question 
The last sentence on this slide is will anyone believe your story? Again we have an interrogative sentence. This question begins with the helping verb will. Which tense is in this sentence? The future simple. Now let's see how will it be changed. Helping verb will be used at the same place. Will your story as we are supposed to make your story that's the object in the active voice now we will make it the subject in the passive voice so will your story be believed by anyone the verb form is the same be form plus past participle of the main verb that's here be believed so the passive form of this sentence is will your story be believed by anyone by anyone you can put this phrase by anyone within the brackets because sometimes it's not important to tell by whom but it's important to tell what was the action. I hope you must have found this lesson quite interesting and useful. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.